G'day guys, thanks for calling 1-800-PONE-TOM, this is Jay speaking, bringing you another episode of Time to Learn Modern Warfare 3. Today we are on Fallen, I'm going to be showing you the best lines of sights, jump spots, you know the deal guys, you've seen the video, so let's get straight into it. First of all, we are starting at the C flag, and there is no real good capture point here, I'm not going to lie, you're out in the open, no matter where you are. I mean, you could probably crop down here and pick people off as they come through these ways, but you're not going to be too hidden, so just go for gold and hope for the best. Um, this is a little campy area here, you know there's always people up there sniping because there's a heap of line of sights from up here. I mean, realistically, you can see over to here, which is a spawn point in that building there, and just, it's got a good area, so you know there's lots of people here. Staircase is up there, one, two, but there is a couple of other ways to get, well, there's one other way to get up here, which is going to catch them by surprise, and you can jump up on this jeep, guys. Quick way to pick them off, and from the jeep, if you jump over to the fence, you can get straight over, so it's a, it's a nifty little spot, I'm not going to lie. I'm um, heading around to this side of the map. Basically, if you're going for a montage, this is a spot for you. You can jump up on here, from here, jump up onto the flag post go out to the light and if you can pull off a 360 or anything up here but it's not all that there is guys it's actually a really good line of sight for that spawn point there because people will spawn just at the back over there and they will run out here they will flood out like fish in the sea so take note of that guys it's a pretty good spot and this is another campy area I mean on this map fallen there is a lot of areas where snipers tend to just sit and pick people off they'll be here in these windows here and they'll probably have a claymore for defense there so another quick way to get up behind them if you know there's a claymore there whether you've got sit rep on or you can just see it you can actually go this way to jump to this little ledge here and if you jump up and press the right button you know depending on your console you can get in this way and pick them off so that's just another little handy spot that i thought i would point out and um also i don't know how good this is going to do you in game guys but you can jump from here over to this little railing whatever you want to call it is here and um basically the only thing you're gonna be able to do up here is that and pick someone off and that definitely would have hit someone but anyway this is the a flag as you can see capturing it there is one good spot where you will be hidden you can crawl under the truck here move forward enough and as you can see you can capture it for me the enemy will not be able to see you and it's fucking hilarious to see the enemy come try get it when you're sitting under there and they're like what the fuck why aren't they getting but you know how it is it's just funny it's it's always good fucking with noobs so heading around the back of the map, there is not too much around this side of the map, guys. There's no real jump spots, no real advantage you can get to. Um, as you know, people camp from up here, so always just watch out for these windows here. Heading towards the B area, there's no good capture point. But just say you do have B, there's definitely a few good defender points. You can sit here and pick people off from there as they're coming through. Vice versa, if they come through there, you can see them. It's another good spot, and if you definitely know they're coming from that spawn that is over on that side that I said before, guys... Sitting here is a great, great little head glitch. And same from the other side too. You can jump on the top of this little beetle here. If you know they're up there or even coming up in that building up there, it'll make pretty easy pickings to get to them. Heading around the map some more. There really isn't too much on this map. I'm just doing a quick video for the Fallen just to show you guys because it's not one of the better maps for jumps and spots. I'm not going to lie. Um, near the sea flag again, we've made our way back around. This is another campy area. People tend to sit up in this window here because it looks down this whole area here and even people up there. So, obviously, there's this way to get in here. You can come in from the stairs this side, but if the enemy has this claymore and just say there's an enemy there defending him, there is another way in here. If you do hop up on this blue card, it'll take you a little bit of practice, but it's not really too difficult. You can jump from here up to this window, and if you just press your jump button, you'll be able to jump straight in and go fucking bang and pick them off. So, it's a decent little spot. Heading around the map a little, little bit more. I'm just going to point this out. It's not really going to do you much good, but it's just I'm trying to show all the spots that I've found on the maps and that I've seen people show or seen people use in-game. As you know, like I've said, this is a campy area, but from here you can drop down onto this ledge here and you always see people, they tend to hide in here, I don't really know why, it's it's not a very good spot at all in my opinion, so it's, it's just, I thought I'd chuck it in just for shits and giggles, so watch out for that guys, because people might sit up there. And um, that's pretty much it for Fallen Hay guys, there's not real decent spots like I've been trying to say, but I mean the ones that I have shown you, you might be able to get some good flanks on enemies and get you that extra kill, which could be for the mob, so you never know when it might help you out. But give the video a like, guys, please. It helps me out a lot. Favorite it if you're super keen, if you're a super fanboy. And I love the super fanboys. You guys are great. You're basically what keeps the channel going. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode of Time to Learn on Fallen. And I will talk to you guys later. Catch ya.